let us now start extracting objects so I have here this drawing you can use your own drawing or you can open this file that's included in the tutorial so the the first objective is to extract all the lines we will extract the layer and the X of the starting point the Y of the starting point and the X and Y of the endpoint so I have here created a project called export to Excel project let's check this one so it has one form and one button here okay if you click on this this is where we're going to do our coding so before we start the coding we should have a reference to the Excel library and we can do that from this menu tools references and you should see the Microsoft Excel object library depending on what version of Excel that's installed in your machine you might have different version here but just find the Excel object library and check that one and click OK right so now we can start our coding so first we have to declare an instance of the Excel object Excel that application and we'll make that uh, make the Excel equals visible equals true now we can start creating a workbook create a new workbook this is where we're going to uh, extract all the line information so dim work bk as X exc as excel dot workbook and we'll set that uh, work bk equals exc the workbooks that add okay next we're going to define the worksheet for the lines so let's declare the ws as excel dot worksheet then set that worksheet equals work bk dot worksheets one and we can name that worksheet as uh, let's say lines okay next we need to create the the header in the spreadsheet so create the header let's declare a variable called the range as excel that range and let's set the value of range equals worksheet that range a1 this is our first cell then we can range we can put the value to uh, layer that is our first column next we can let's just let's just copy this over for faster coding range this a2 that will be our second column and we will call that as start x that's the x of the starting point copy these lines and you can make uh, this should this should be b1 not a2 so this should be c1 this is the y of the starting point let's copy that this will be d1 and this should be the the end x the x of the endpoint and this will be the e1 the fifth uh, column we call this uh, ny that's the y of the endpoint so that's about for our excel we've created a, a workbook 
we initialize first the application then we create a workbook and add it into the application then we created a worksheet and add that one into the workbook and we name the worksheet as lines then we create our header this first column second column third column fourth and fifth column of the first row okay now let's do the coding into the this will be the AutoCAD section just put a comment there just to segregate the different code blocks now since we are dealing with lines we need to declare a variable let's say ln as uh, a CAD line then we need a counter to loop through the the selection sets let's just declare this as integer and we will initialize that ln equals 2 because this is our basically our first row so we will be starting from the second row all right now we need to create a filter so that we can just select those line objects let's create a variable called filter type 0 as integer then let's create a filter data 0 as variant and let's set the value of the filter type 0 equals 0 that is the object type and filter data 0 as line next we need to gather all the lines and store in a selection set so let's uh, declare a variable for the selection set dim as a cut selection set next we need to find a way to select all the lines that would be set ss equals this drawing the selection sets that add uh, we call that lines and then we can now select we can now define the selection criteria for our selection set we will be using ac selection set all then we will provide the the filter type and the filter data okay but before before this line I would like to add here a, a few lines of code to delete whatever is in the selection sets collection so that we don't get an error every time we rerun this program so just do some some validation here if this drawing that selection sets that count is greater than zero we're just basically deleting the, the the first selection set yep and now we can loop uh, th through the selection set and brush, uh, process each line okay so to loop through the selection set we need the for each statement so for each line in selection set this, this is where we are now uh, writing into the Excel file so worksheet that range is the A the first column and uh, there is this uh, converter C in of ILN 
and that value equals L in that layer. So basically, this stands for A2 A2 range equals the layer. Okay. Next, let's just copy this line and the next uh, the next column would be the B2 which is uh, our starting point the X starting point so let's convert that to string the ln that starting point and zero that's the X coordinate oops this is uh, B okay and then we just copy that one and then this is the Y and this should be C next that would be the column D which is the column number 4 and we will, we will need the endpoint here and then column number 5 which is the E we need the Y coordinate here okay then we should increment our counter so it will go to the next line increment by one All right so I think this is just about about our code to extract all the line objects let's save this and run perfect so we have all the layers and we have all the X coordinate of the starting point the Y coordinate of the starting point and the endpoint okay there it is we have 76 uh, lines and we have here the worksheet name which is lines all right so that's about it how to extract the lines in your drawing I'll see you in the next video